What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we're going to be going through a brand new trailer for Need for Speed Payback. And without any further ado, I'm going to show you the first little part of the trailer, and then we're going to talk about it. So, firstly, the airport runway. Now, we saw little glimpses of this uh, on that map that was going around, but this, uh, to see it now, it's like, okay, we have the runway, and it's there, and we can do top speed runs on it, and that's like, that's, that's out of the way. I wanted to know, I think everybody wanted to know about the runway, and it's like, okay, here we go, we got it. Now, next up is the jump. The jump, actually, also, too, here, you see the Ford Hot Rod with the pickup bed. Um, we've got a Camaro, and we've got a Volvo Amazon, which, those three, it's, it's actually kind of funny to see those three in a race with an R34 GTR, but it's, again, one of those cool things about Need for Speed that you can mix and match any combination of cars that you want because everything is so customizable. But having a jump like that at the end of the runway is also, like I mentioned before, with top speed runs on the runway, what's a top speed run without a ridiculously massive jump at the end? of it i mean you can just do so many crazy fun things that it's kind of like why wouldn't you why wouldn't you want to do them Now here we see the sign uh, leading to Silver Canyon. Now uh, seeing that sign it makes me really excited personally because it's one of those things where it's like, yes, we've got that Toge Road, Canyon Road gameplay that, and you're gonna see some a uh, little bit of that later in the trailer. But um, and actually, there, it's really interesting because there's a spot where it is possible to actually go off, and I'm assuming that that means there's going to be other spots throughout the different canyons in the game where you can actually go off the edge uh, if you're not paying attention. So that'll definitely uh, add some tension to online multiplayer racing when we get start to get a lot deeper into that. Now also, during this part of the trailer, keep an eye on how smoothly everything flows throughout the game and throughout the game world, because that's something that you, you don't really understand until you play the game. I mean, you can kind of see it on video, sure, but once you play the game, you really do understand or, or start to understand how smooth this game is. It's Everything is smooth. All the inputs are smooth. The, the, the gameplay itself, everything has this really nice, crisp, smooth feel. However, we do need to take a break right here for a second to talk about the fact that those barriers are uh, they, they, that those barriers are pretty much just there telling you that uh, driving straight may not be a good idea. So if you go over that, I don't uh, I don't think your car will be in such a good way afterwards. So pay attention to spots like that uh, on any of these canyon roads because. That's something right there that I feel like could end your, uh, that, that, something like that could probably end your race very, very quickly, and it's kind of a, I, I, I almost feel like it's kind of like a little bit of a throwback to, uh, to Need for Speed Carbon, where if you went off the edge of the canyon, well, you're done, you know, so that's one of those things where it's like, you bring back, you know, you bring back these little elements, uh, into the new game that have been, you know, proven to be fun and proven to, to, to add, like, that tension element, uh, to races and I think when you add that back in you definitely definitely find some some interesting gameplay aspects getting brought back up uh, in the newer game So now that we've watched the trailer, let's take a minute and look at the gameplay and reflect on what we saw and talk about some of the things a little bit more in depth. So, one of the biggest things for me, one of the biggest takeaways from that trailer is how smoothly everything runs, how smoothly everything plays, and I think that really goes a long way or is going to go a long way in terms of the overall feel of the game and the overall the overall impression that people are going to walk away with, I think. Um, at least especially for me, you know, after playing the game at Gamescom and, and things like that, the game really does, and, I, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now, it feels very, very nice. When you actually get it, you know, get it in your hands and you actually play the game, um, you, you won't be disappointed. It feels very good, 
very smooth and, and has that Need for Speed feel to it. Payback definitely has a kind of that classic Need for Speed feel. Like, if you picked it up and didn't know what you were playing, you would think you were playing a Need for Speed game. Like, if someone... If someone, you know, said, here, play this, and it had no logos on it, no nothing at all, you would say, it's Need for Speed, because it feels like a Need for Speed game, and it's got that Need for Speed style, which I think is very important, because when you get too far away from that, people start to, to start to be like, uh, what are you doing? You're supposed to be Need for Speed. Well, what is this? But, the, but... Fortunately, Payback does have that that classic Need for Speed feel, and when you start playing it and you pick it up, you go, yeah, this is Need for Speed. This 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 is how a Need for Speed game should feel. This is how a Need for Speed game should play, and this is how I want my you know my Need for Speed experience, quote unquote, to 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 feel. And I think that that the the smoothness of the gameplay goes a long way for that. And also the 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 sense of speed awesome. The sense of speed is really, really, really good, and the, the the nice thing about having that sense of speed is the fact that you really feel like you're, when you're pushing in the game, you feel like you're properly pushing, and that's something they do so well. That's something they do really, really well, and I think the sound goes a long way towards that. Um, so does the, uh, so does the, just the gameplay in general, but the sound, the combination of the sound and the visuals really go a long way to adding to that sense of speed, and I think they've done a really good job, uh, bringing that, that sense of speed to the game in a, in a really, really nice way, in a nice high quality way. And at the end of the day, too, I will say that Need for Speed Payback, for me, I think a lot of my, you know, I mean, and we'll see this more as the game gets, you know, closer to launch, and then obviously when it does launch, that I think that there's going to be a lot of time spent doing multiplayer toge battles and just meetups and cruises and things like that. I think that that is going to be uh, probably one of the places I'm going to spend most of my time in the game aside from playing through the story which you guys are going to get a full let's play here on the channel uh that's that's non-negotiable you guys are getting that a hundred percent because i want to play it and i want to bring it to you guys and i think it's something you guys will enjoy because need for speed games that's the thing is they're always fun to 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 play through and i want to share that with you guys here on the channel because i know a lot of you guys are need for speed fans i'm a big need for speed fan so it's been awesome to watch the this series continue to evolve. I mean, my first Need for Speed game was Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit from 98? 1998 or... Yeah, no, because 1999 was Need for Speed High Stakes. So yeah, I started on Hot Pursuit 1998, then moved to High Stakes 1999, um, and then had um, Porsche Unleashed, which was 2000. Um, and then... After that, I think my favorite one since was Hot Pursuit 2, and of course, Underground and then Hot Pursuit 2 kind of tied uh, for, for my ultimate favorite for a long time, and th those, those games like Underground and Hot Pursuit 2 were so classic, it's like, you can go back and play them now, and they're still fun, and, and, and that's, the, that's one of those qualities of a really good Need for Speed game, is, you know, like 10 years later or more, 10 or more years later, you can still go back and play them, and they're still fun, and they're still entertaining, and you're like, yeah, I know why, I know exactly why I enjoyed this, because I still enjoy it today, and that's, that, when you think about it like that, that's the mark of a great game, when you can go back and play it at, 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 at the point at which the graphics look antique you know you can go back and play it and it's still fun and it proves that and certain games have proven this over and over again that when it comes down to it at the end of the day it's the gameplay that makes the difference and and you know how fun the game is to play and how much it holds you and pulls you in um than necess than than necessarily the graphics um graphics are great don't get me wrong graphics are awesome but if you have that gameplay and it's really polished and it's fun, there's there's not a lot of other things that can top that. And I think that Payback definitely has a lot of those gameplay dynamics um, that, that make a traditional Need for Speed game lots and lots of fun, and I think it it's going to go a long way because of that. So I can't wait to get my hands on the full game, and I know a lot of you guys are excited for that as well, but 
Um, I'm ready for it. I hope you guys are ready for it. And this trailer uh, definitely made me even more excited than I was before. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel and you're excited for Need for Speed Payback, don't forget to subscribe for more news regarding the game coming very soon, as well as the full Let's Play that will be starting when the game launches. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.